It would seem to me there would be no other place that the Clinton Presidential Center could be other than Little Rock. It can mean a lot to a city to have a presidential library. Everybody should come here. It's, we are so centrally located. We're easy to get to. Restaurants and hotels around us, people who've never been here, never been to Arkansas, especially never been to Little Rock, will just be um, moved by how beautiful it is and how friendly the people are. There are beautiful pieces in here that were gifts from heads of state from around the world. There are letters that are so interesting from Mr. Rogers to Mother Teresa. Wasn't he elected governor five times? Five times. For, for a couple of reasons, not just because there wasn't anybody else. Right. He truly knew how to get things done in this state. He spent much of his life here in a city that he loves, that loves him. There's a percentage of people that have a very personal connection it to is. this particular president, which is different than just a historical figure. He is a true, caring, passionate Arkansan. Right. And he values people. And people can feel that when they meet him. They, they feel like they made a friend. This is a destination for people who come. In many cases, it's a bucket list. And you can see the relevance of presidential libraries and their museums because history repeats itself. So you get a history lesson, but it's also like a letter from home. It's like going through a scrapbook. You also get to relive the last eight years of the 20th century through the eyes of the presidency and the first lady. There's also quite a bit of information here about the work that she did from health care reform to the children's health insurance program to just uh, stating so definitely that women's rights are human rights. Today, we, we are still echoing those voices.